Have you ever wondered what happens to students these days who work their way from inside the classroom to outside the door to inside the principal's office and then permanently outside the school? In my school days, they often found themselves a job as a labourer with a local tradesman and, if they were lucky, an apprenticeship with an uncle or other family member. Today, unfortunately, skilled job pathways and TAFE have strict entrance requirements often requiring Year 12 graduation to compete. Hello, I'm Terry Parsons and have served Corridors College in Midland since 1999 as principal. Corridors was established in 1998 by a group of community-minded people to exclusively work with troubled youth to re-engage those who were educationally at risk of not completing Year 10. Over the years, Corridors has become an urban billabong for these young people, a place where they can re-engage with life, becoming equipped to deal with their present circumstances and gain hope for a productive future. Regrettably, the need for places like Corridors is becoming greater and more urgent. We help these at-risk youngsters achieve life goals that would otherwise be unattainable. The value to the community in general is enormous, but frequently overlooked. Whilst these students are in the safe and stable environment of the college, they are not at risk or committing crimes. More importantly, they are not out there learning criminal habits that would stay with them for life. In education terms, Corridors does for the community what mainstream schools can't. Thanks very much for listening. Hi, I'm Wayne Mansfield from Business Seminars Australia. Over the last four or five years, with the help of a very good friend of mine, Terry Parsons, I've been involved in helping at-risk youth uh, at Corridors College. I've often wondered uh, what happens to these kids that the normal schools kick out because uh, it's, they're too much trouble. I'm sure the kids love it because what could be better than every school saying, don't bother coming? But after visiting uh, Terry's school, I've been able to see how, with a little bit of encouragement, these uh, troublemakers, dregs of society, amazingly turn into positive, useful young people. I want to encourage you to support Terry and his team at Corridors College uh, by giving whatever you can. Obviously, money's the easiest and it goes the furthest. So would you join me in being a supporter of Corridors College uh, and donate until it hurts? Thank you very much.